KFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. I bring the update here. You notice we had a big drop from uh, last week. We dropped from 39,000 down to uh, 38,500, and now we've rallied back. You notice the high today was uh, almost it was one tick from the exact 61 percent retracement of the high that we made back on march the first so whether that means anything or not the fact that you made the abcd pattern and you notice that the abcd pattern didn't quite make it mainly because of these long bars and i've mentioned many times if you will just adjust your cd leg to 1.27 of that move you'll see that you're probably going to hit it just about exactly spot on which it does now the reason why that you make this adjustment in other words the a b leg is not equal to the cd leg but only about 40 percent of the time believe it or not the other part of it the cd leg is going to be 1.27 or 1.618 of that leg and that's exactly what you had here and the reason for that is the strength of this thrust to the downside. Okay, so that's what we're watching here with this. Now, uh, today, on today's show, we're going to have as our guest, Stan Harley, will be our guest at the half hour. <clears throat> Always has some really great stuff. And of course, this is one of the key dates that he was looking at. But the thing that we'd like to uh, uh, talk about here for just one second is, is that when we come to the regular part of the show here, I'm going to do a little tribute to our, my good friend Jim Twentyman, who will be laid to rest on Friday over in California. Uh, got Nate laid to rest, I guess would be sailing to the sunset because he's with the Neptune Society and his ashes will be spread over Morro Bay where he lived and, uh, and passed away, just like uh, our good friend uh, Jack LaLanne, who happened to be a good friend of Jim's also that we had knew through our days at Drexel and all the other stuff that we had done together through the years. So we're going to have something special for you coming up at the break. Uh, those of you that are new to the show, those of you that are in the show, but there's some market that is uh, one of Jim's favorite is getting ready for something very unusual to happen. So we want to cover that. And just as a little heads up, I'll give you a heads up. It is called the wheat market. So stay with us here, folks. <clears throat> 